Dr. Enchin, how does a unified view actually influence how you would go about treating a patient? Um, unified view starts out with the premise that uh, the, the patient is, is, is a holistic entity to begin with, uh, that all of their complexity is intertwined and interrelated, uh, and, and takes the view that all of the different major psychotherapeutic orientations, cognitive behavioral, psychoanalytic, psychodynamic, existential, humanistic, biological, systemic, for example, that, that all of these approaches, their particular concepts and techniques, uh, basically highlight and target different domains and subtle systems of the biopsychosocial matrix uh, and its relational grounding. Uh, and it's going to serve as, a, as kind of a, a guide for how I go about uh, assessing the kind of data that I gather and how I intervene. So, for example, let's say a client comes in uh, with the clear depressive symptoms. Uh, I'm going to try to get a, a gather data about, you know, the, the extent, the nature and extensiveness of, the, of their depressive symptomatology uh, and determine, you know, are we dealing here with, with a, a major depressive disorder? Are we dealing here with, with a dysthymic disorder or, or maybe perhaps a, a double depression? Uh, but then I'm also going to, going to try to uh, understand the contexts uh, that are uh, breeding and maintaining uh, those depressive symptoms. Uh, so from a unified view, you know, I'm going to be mindful of what may be going on, you know, what may be going on biologically, uh, what may be going on intrapsychically in the individual's head, particularly in the domain of self in line with the relational matrix, uh, not exclusively the self, but certainly that's going to be a, a central domain of, of examination. And then what's going on interpersonally for them as well, and in the broader sociocultural matrix of their life, uh, in the family, and, and in other sociocultural contexts that are prominent in their life. Um, and based on the data that I gather about what's going on with the client at these different levels, uh, I will be making judgments and decisions about uh, where I think you know, with, of course, the client's input, and this is collaborative, but you know, where, where we think it would be most optimal to intervene, at what, at what level and, and in what subsystems. Uh, so let's say the, de the determination is that the client's depression is, is particularly a function of problems in, in the domain of self. Uh, there I would probably draw on kind of a psychodynamic, self-psychological perspective, drawing on its concepts and, and, and the techniques uh, that target those kinds of uh, problems. It may also incorporate some cognitive techniques as well. Uh, alternatively, if it, is, if it appears that their depression is more a function of interpersonal difficulties, uh, then I may draw on more of, a, of, a, of an interpersonal approach uh, and use those kinds of concepts and interventions to understand what's going on in the client's maladaptive interpersonal patterns and, and intervening in those. Um, the client's subjectivity is also going to be very important in all of this, so uh, kind of a, a humanistic frame is very phenomenological humanistic frame is also brought into play. Uh, also, the nature of our relationship is also something I'm going to be very mindful of and, and, and you know, there may be particular ways that I phrase things and so forth with the client, uh, particular ways that I present interventions and thoughts and ideas uh, in a way that's mindful of the nature of our relationship because the client and, and I uh, create a unified system and just as the client is affecting me, I'm affecting the client, not just with my techniques, but how I'm interacting with them. Uh, so I'm also going to be mindful of the kind of relationship and, and how I interact with the client in an effort to also be therapeutic at that level. Uh, and then just to sort of complete the picture, uh, I am also going to be looking not only at the client's pathology and, and what's going on biopsychosocially uh, in terms of the pathology, but also what strengths exist in, in their biopsychosocial system, systems and, and in what ways might I harness these as well. 
Uh, the biological level remains important too, and that, that may be where I refer the client for a medication evaluation that is not unique to a unified approach, but a unified approach uh, through the biopsychosocial model attempts to keep the therapist mindful of all of the levels, all of the subsystems that may be at play in the, in the client's disorder.